Stem cell donors may be related to you, such as a brother or a sister, or may not be related to you. Unrelated donors are volunteers who send in a sample of their DNA to the National Marrow Donor Program, or NMDP. Blood samples or cheek swabs will be taken from you and from any possible donor and compared to determine the degree of human leukocyte antigen, or HLA match. If you have more than one donor who matches, other factors such as age, gender, and blood type will be considered to select the best match for you. If your donor is unrelated, their identity will not be known. This is in accordance with the NMDP regulations. You may be able to exchange contact information one to two years after your transplant. Your case manager can provide you with more information about contacting your donor. Once your donor has been found, he or she will have testing done to make sure that donation is safe for them and their stem cells will be safe for you. The donor's experience will be discussed in the next chapter if you're interested in learning more about that process. I was told that I had three possible perfect matches and I was elated. I found out later that those three perfect matches were young people in Wasilla, Alaska. Well, as soon as that one year was up and I was allowed to submit paperwork to contact my donor, she had already submitted her paperwork. And so when I finally made connection, she said, I've been waiting and waiting to hear how it went. So we are in contact um, through email and Facebook. My dream was that my husband and I would fly her here for my fifth, second birthday in May, but that COVID happened. Um, someday, we'll, we'll meet someday. Well, the first donor that I had backed out a week before my transplant, so my family was pretty upset. And then we looked internationally and there was three donors in Germany. And the one that we found was pretty close to a perfect match. He gave me permission to reach out after the three years. And so I emailed him and he's pretty close to my age. So we still talk now, which is pretty cool. He's like a English and an English teacher in Germany. So he has, it's pretty easy to talk to him. Uh, my donor was unrelated, a young lady uh, who was half my age at the time. She was 31, I was 62. Um, uh, I was I was relieved that that they found a donor and they found one fairly fast. You can't say enough about people who donate, uh, you know, life saving a life saving piece of themselves to 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 keep you alive. I I actually started thinking about contacting my donor when I hit my five years earlier this month um, um, and and the reason I haven't so far is um, how many times can you say thank you